Welcome back everyone to the Viking Weekend channel. I am your host and mighty chieftain as always, Salty Viking. I hope you're all having a great day today. And in this video, we're going to be continuing with our, our gameplay of Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Now in the last episode, we made it here to the Hatano Research Lab and met with Director per Pura who had an accident with some runes and now she looks like a child. But she did unlock some functionalities within our Sheikah Slate. And also upgraded a couple other functions. And then we also went and activated the Hatsuno Tower. So we now have that as a part of our map. Um, so in this episode, we are actually going to be making our way back to Kakariko Town here to talk to Impa. And then we'll, I'll figure out what I want to do. I think I want to try to unlock the, um, the lake tower, which is right around here somewhere. But, uh, yeah, so that'll be, uh, what I'm thinking of doing for this, this episode. But as always, like, comment, subscribe, smash the bell to be kept up to date when future videos drop. Uh, I would love for you all to be part of my Viking village. So as I always like to say, join the raid and welcome to the village. All right, so before we do that, actually, let's go talk to Simon here. We were told that we should talk to him. Yeah. Good morning. You acquired the Sheikah, Slate, Sheikah Sensor Plus. That should really come in handy. With that, you can sense things that you've captured with your camera. Explaining won't do it justice. Why not learn by trying? Let's give it a shot, so to speak. Let's see here. First, go take a picture of a sunshroom with the camera. There is one behind the lab. Alright, so we're going to go take a picture of the sunshroom. Before we do that, let's uh, equip our camera. I did use our amiibos to get some cool stuff. <coughs> Excuse me. So, so yeah, and, I, and then I also uh, healed myself because I took... Uh, Hell of a beating trying to get up to the Hatsuno Tower. And where is that sunshroom that he was talking about? I don't see it. Uh, maybe I overlooked it. I don't know. I probably, Knowing me, I probably did. Uh, I don't think I grabbed it, did I? And... Eh. I don't think I grabbed it. I don't remember if I grabbed it. <clears throat> he said there's one behind the lab. You talking about down here? Well, let's drop down a little further here. Uh, I don't know. There, there's a, well, there's a couple shrines. One's there, one's over there, but I'm not going to worry too much about those right now. Uh, because we're going to go see Impa, and we're going to, we're going to do the fast travel option here. So let's go see see the boss lady. Talo Nag Shrine. Yeah, I see what's going on there. All right, wakey, wakey, Impa. So we're gonna go in, and I think there's a um, da 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 a Korok seed uh, on top of the house. Huh? I heard Pura was giving you the runaround, but you seem just fine. 
Locked mementos complete. Now then, let me see. Oh. Aha, this is without a doubt the camera that Princess Zelda used a hundred years ago. It could be that if you visit the locations within these pictures, you'll be able to restore some of your lost memories. Come back here once you've tried going at least one of, to, uh, to at least one of those locations. Mm. There is something I wish to give to you. All right, captured memories. So we're going to be going to the locations of the of where Zelda took pictures. Now, I'm going to try to limit that to one a video just because, you know, I, I like to have the ability to have cool, uh, uh, cool thumbnails. And those memories sound like perfect... Okay. There we go. Sound like perfect opportunities to, uh, get uh, some cool, um, you know, create some cool thumbnails. But that's just, you know, that's just me, though. Okay, so I think there is one here on the roof. Ah, uh, you know, it would help if I stayed up on the roof instead of just falling off the side here. I just have no balance today. Okay. Uh, nope. Maybe it's on the other side. Because it wasn't like, it wasn't like a little swirling dust or something. Uh, there's no circle of lilies below. I do see a, it looks like one of those, uh, those purple, like, rush shrooms, I think they're called. Okay, no, not on this side. What about the other side? Oops. I must be... Hmm. I could be wrong. I think I know there's one over here at this sign. I think you have to shoot the eye. Or shoot that little emblem there. Oh, I have no arrows. What the heck? What's wrong with me? Oh, I do have arrows. I just didn't equip any. What the hell is wrong? Okay. No. Yeah, we'll retrieve my arrow. I think there is something here on the, the sign. I could be wrong. Alright, um... I did shoot the emblem. Oh, there's an arrow. That's not one of my arrows, but... Oh, there's a bunch of arrows. Is it this one? Yeah, it was, oh, it was the other side. There we go. That's another one. I get our arrow back. Okay, so... Well, 
place now. Okay, I did that one. Oh, there is a circle of lilies somewhere. Okay. Alright. Um. I right, thought so we'll climb back up here. There we go. Now I know there's a circle of lilies somewhere around here. and get to the other side. Oh, there they are! So we just need to climb up the waterfall here. Alright, so can I do a... Okay. Oh, shoot! Hang on. I screwed that up. I gotta practice. I gotta learn how to do my swan dive. Okay. Actually, you know what? I, I know what we're gonna, we're gonna head back over here. I'll worry about that later. Yeah, because right now I'm more I'm more concerned about getting. One of the memories, and also probably a couple more shrines, maybe, and then hit up the lake tower. And there is a memory on pretty much right on the other side of this wall. Let's do a little quick climb here. And trying to remember, trying to see. Okay. Well, I can't really. Alright, so it's got to be over here. Oh, there's a moblin right over there. I have five freeze arrows. Oops. Um... There we go. One and done. Okay, so... Let me head back up here real quick. Kind of gauge where I'm at. Oh, that's a fox. I was like, what is that down there? Okay, so... Memory's gotta be around here somewhere. <laughs> Actually, I don't want the freeze arrow. Uh, 
I want a normal arrow. Oh, it didn't do it. Oh, here it is. We'll grab the acorn first, and then we'll recall. Nice little lake picture. Yep. From here, we'll make our way to Goron City. Then, we'll need some adjustments on that divine beast so Daru can manage it as easily as possible. He's figured out how to get it to move. However, it's apparent that we still have much more to learn. But to think, that divine beast was actually built by people. That means we should be able to understand how it works and how to use it to our advantage. These divine beasts, so much we don't know. But if we want to turn back Calamity Ganon, they're our best hope. Tell me the truth. How proficient are you right now wielding that sword on your back? Legend says that an ancient voice resonates inside it. Fie. Can you hear it yet, hero? Oh, she doubts me. <gasps> yeah, definitely one of the easier uh, memories to get. Yeah, we're definitely starting to get into, uh, nighttime territory. So let's head back to Kakariko Village and talk to Impa. Now that you have seen some of the princess's memories, you must have started to remember certain things. Here, I will hand this over to you now before I forget. Champion's Tunic! In ancient Hyrule, this garment could only be worn by one who had earned the respect of the royal family. Equipping it will reveal an, en an enemy's life gauge. This is something of yours that I have been keeping safe by request of the princess. This clothing was specifically made for when you become it became a champion. Please handle it with care. All right, so let's take a look here. All right, so we'll wear the champion's tunic. And since we already got the uh, this little bugger here, we'll help ourselves with some apples. Oh, that's a pot lid. Okay. All right, I'm gonna try to make my way towards the lake tower. I know there's a lot of enemies around, so I'm just going to have to be careful. I know there's some enemies on the bridge. 
There's a, I believe there's also a shrine at the uh, in the center of the lake. Uh, I believe it's Lake Hylia. That hopefully that's sundown and not a red moon. Oh shoot. Yep, it's past nine. Oh, you jerk. God forbid, dude. You are starting to piss me off. No! You gotta be kidding me. Annoying little buggers. Well, that's done. Since we don't have really that much stamina to be playing games here. Whoa, hello. <laughs> Did I just reset my... Yep, shrine nearby. And I just did not get a shot off like I was hoping to do. And there is a treasure chest right there. Let me see if I can get a shot off. Maybe. Oh, it went too far. Come on, hit it. Damn. There is a enemy over yonder. Oh no, that's a Oh, you! <laughs> oh, shoot! Now I got one more to deal with. Oh, shoot. There we go. All right. Lazalfo Talons. Lazalfo Horns. See if I can get another shot off. Got it.
All right, so let me see. I'm gonna sneak up. Ow! I need to be careful now. We got two of them. Got rid of him. Now, let's see. What do I want to equip? What bows do I got? Just pegging them off. Thank you for stopping by. This is all boomerang. Hopefully I can get over there, no problem. Can I use... No, I can't. Oh, I'll, I'll get there, no problem. Oh, there's another one over here. And there's a chest buried. Boy, did I miss that one. You know, lap around. Oh, he sees me. Ding! And that takes care of you. And there's a treasure chest here. Let's... Oh! Fine. Let's go get that first. Then we'll get the treasure chest. We will probably need this later. Ferocious scale. Oh, those are lilies. I thought they were items. Okay. Never mind. Alright. Uh, we'll take a picture. Sure, why not? And now... Come on, there we go. Oh, no you don't. There we go. Purple rupees, 50, uh, 50 rupees, it's violent glow, fills your heart with generosity. Yeah, or, yeah, or greed. Alright, there should be a shrine nearby here. Pretty much on the other side of this mound. There it is, right below me. 
Yanaga Shrine. Okay. To you who sets foot in the shrine, I am Yanaga. In the name of the goddess Hylia, I offer this trial. Shatter the heavens. Okay. So it looks like we're going to need the bombs. The circle, the round ones. And... Skadoosh! Hmm. Let's see here. I think I need a couple... Whoops. So I think I need to do this. Okay, well... Place it here. And then do this. And it's just, I think it's just a matter of timing. So, three, two, one. Damn, I didn't, okay. So once I get, so once it gets to its highest, I should detonate the square one. Alright. Put the, oops. And then get the All right. Three, two, one, boom. There we go. Now we just gotta do that again and send us, you know, skyward. All right. It would help if I actually put the damn bomb in the tube. There we go. Now, is there a treasure chest somewhere around? No, it doesn't look like there's one on this floor. Alright, so we're going to head on up. Yeah, no, there's no charge chest. All right, three, two, one, boom. Oh, shoot. There is a treasure chest. All right, we're gonna do that again. If I recall, it would be... It was left of the shrine, so that would mean it would be on my right? Okay. Oops! Ow! That was just, that was just dumb. Okay. Let's try that again. All right, three, two, one. 
Oh, I didn't get it. Shoot. All right. We're going to get that damn treasure chest. That might, cause that might be an ancient core. I don't know. All right. Three, two, one. There we go. Eightfold blade. Uh-oh. So let's see here. I'm going to drop the Lizal boomerang. And we'll get ourselves another eightfold. All right, now let's go get that... Uh, that orb. And then we're going to try to make our way towards hot, towards uh, the lake tower. Your resourcefulness in overcoming this trial speaks of the promise of a hero. In the name of Goddess Hylia, I bestow upon you this spirit orb. And that puts us to one. May the goddess smile upon you. Because we really need six more hearts in order to get uh, the master sword. So 17 shrines down. All right, good. It's morning time. Try this, you know, try to get the tower without having to worry about any of the the skeletons. Yeah, there's the tower there. See, do we have a clear shot? Maybe not. And who are you? Yeah. Good day. What uh. lovely weather we're having. What are you doing? I'm catching fish. They'll sell in no time flat at the general store in Zora's Domain. Zora's Domain? Uh. Yes, we're pretty far away right now. But there are a lot of rare fish to catch here, so it's a lot of fun. And knowing you, you could probably get there by at least... Um... You know, just swimming. Okay, there's another one. Hopefully he doesn't see me. I, I think I'm too far out of his vision to really... to make a difference. But there's the tower there. Now, I could have gone across the bridge, but that would be a little bit of a pain in the ass. Just because the bridge has a bunch of Lazals there. Although... Let's, let's see if I can get there. Maybe. Hopefully. Oh, those are ducks. I'm probably not going to make it. I'm definitely not going to make it. And there's a damn 
Yeah, I'm not going to make it. So you know what we're going to do? We are going to hop back over to Oadayim again, and we're going to take the bridge. All right, we've done 17 shrines. Got 16 Korok seeds total. All right, let's try this again. Oh, there's the old man's house. Actually, you know what? We'll go to this one here. Like I said, I want to try to avoid any unnecessary fights. Although I do need to start farming for materials just so I can upgrade my my gear. Excuse me. Okay, so we are in... Now we don't need to deal with the guardians here. Yeah, there's the bridge there. And hopefully there's not anything lurking around for me. I know there's a bunch of Lizalfos uh, that we'll have to deal with once we get to the bridge. Every little bit helps. Hardy Lizard. All right, there's... Oh, and there's a freaking... All right, we're gonna have to figure out another way to get around without, you know, getting... alerting them. Maybe I can climb around. Again, like I said, I want to try to avoid any unnecessary fights. Well, that worked. Maybe. Oh, yeah, it did work. For a second, yeah, Bridge of Hylia. Let's see here. I know there's going to be some down here in the center of the... Yep, there's one. There's another one. So I'm gonna try to peg one off from here. Hopefully not divert their attention. Maybe I can peg that one. Nope. Complete overshoot. I am just completely overshooting here. Just 
Do I have any bomb arrows? No, I don't. Hmm. Don't like these motion controls. Gotcha. That's it. See if I can take it, get a good shot of him this time. Gotcha. Nope. Goodbye. Well, let's get some of my arrows back. <laughs> oh, there's another one. Ding! Get back up so I can shoot you again. There we go. Zora Spear. Yeah, but I already got plenty of stuff, though. Uh... Oh, you know what? I'll be back for this. Rusty Claymore. Yeah, we already got enough weapons. All right, there's the tower. Let's see if I can climb uh, climb up there. Cuz I would bet you anything that there's probably a bacoblin camp around here somewhere yep there's something over there yeah let's ro let's roll this way here what you don't want to try and ram me This way, hopefully, not cause any disruption. Although it is, it is, it's starting to become. Let's see here. Get rid of these guys first. Okay, let's see here. Can I make the jump? I know there's something down below me. Oh, shoot. <laughs> there we go. Think I have a clear shot. Maybe. <laughs> Damn right I do. Huh? 
Lake Tower. Up oh, they Yeah, you ain't getting me. Sorry, boys. You are not getting me. Alright, so let's replenish our stamina bar. Okay, so we're almost to the top. Yeah, sorry boys, but this tower is mine. Oh, for a second I thought I saw a freaking red moon. Uh, saw the blood moon. Okay, I better get up here. Almost there. There we go. And just a straight shot up. I'm surprised I didn't get run into any of the skeleton uh, skeletons uh, when I was making my way up. Oh, excuse me. And we have made it. Let's ex let's activate. Shiga Tower activated. Yep, the tower is mine, boys. Nice try. Scanning area. And we've now added the bottom port, the southernmost portion of the map. All right, so we got the Farron Grasslands, which there should be a stable around here somewhere. So we'll we'll eventually make our way over there, probably in the next video. And then, as you saw, there was a tower somewhere over here. Um, we should be able to see it from here. Well, that's a shrine. Oh, that's the shrine at the stable that I was talking about. Yeah, so there's the stable. And there's the tower over in the distance. So, eventually, we'll make our way over there. Uh... Probably, eventually, like I said, eventually we'll make our way over there. So probably in the next video, we're going to make it over to that shrine there and the stable. And there's also another memory somewhere not too far from here, over near the uh, the other bridge that we, the, was that the Proximos Bridge, I believe. But yeah, we'll get, we'll get that in the next video. So, uh, as always, like, comment, subscribe, smash the bell to be kept up to date when future videos drop. I would love for you all to be part of my Viking village. So, as I always like to say, join the raid and welcome to the village. And, as always, this is your mighty chieftain, Salty Viking. Excuse me. Reminding you to live brave and free, fight to the nail, and you all have a glorious Viking weekend. And I will catch you in the next episode. Later.